Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to purchase SafeMoon using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. It's actually quite easy to do. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to transfer money from an exchange like Binance or Coinbase into your Trust Wallet, creating your Trust Wallet, and then going through PancakeSwap to buy SafeMoon. It should only take about five to 10 minutes, but it is pretty easy to do. So just stay tuned as I go through each step. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you're going to have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. Now, once we have our BNB in our smart chain here, we do have to do a couple more things before we can purchase SafeMoon. Uh, now, first things first, you guys have to head over to the first link I have in the description. It'll be over to this website right here called BSC Scan. Now, we're going to have to type in SafeMoon here. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the contract ID over to Trust Wallet. So we're just going to click on Safe Moon here and scroll down until you see this contract ID right here. You just want to go ahead and copy that and head back over to Trust Wallet. Once you're in Trust Wallet here, you want to navigate to the top right of the screen and click on the top option there. 
And then you just want to, in the search, just paste that address that we just copied. Then you should see Safe Moon right here. We can just go ahead and enable that. Once that is enabled, we can click on Done, and you should see Safe Moon now in the main portion of your wallet. Uh, now, if you guys see on the bottom here, I have four options as well. Wallet, Browser, Dex, and Settings. Some of you guys might not have the browser settings if you're on an iPhone. If that is the case, you guys have to go to the next link I have in the description in the comment section as well. It's going to be over to the Trust Wallet website, and you're going to have to do a browser enable feature as well. So it's just this link right here. And all you guys have to do is click on this second link right here where it says trust dash dash browser underscore enable. You guys just have to click on that and then it will bring you back into Trust Wallet and your browser should appear there. If you guys need any help with this, just follow along with the steps in this link that I'll have there for you guys. It's very, very easy and straightforward, but that should give you the browser option if you do not have it already. Once you guys have the browser option on Trust Wallet, you guys are now ready to purchase SafeMoon. All you guys have to do is click on Browser, and you just want to go navigate over to where it says PancakeSwap. So we're just going to go ahead and click on PancakeSwap. And what you guys are going to have to do in here is you have to connect your wallet. So just make sure at the top corner of your screen, you'll see an option to connect there. I already have my wallet connected, but you should see an option to connect there. Just go ahead and click on Connect, and then you should see your wallet ID from your Trust Wallet into there. You also might have to click on Trust Wallet as well, but it is very, very straightforward to do that, and you should see your wallet ID up there when you're done. So once you guys are done doing that, you just want to scroll down over to where you see the exchange. If you don't see exchange right there, you can click in the top left corner on the three lines and click on exchange. Uh, once you are on the exchange, though, you just want to scroll down and you want to click on select currency. What you want to do now is you want to copy that same ID in there as well. So we're just going to copy the ID and then you should see safe moon right here. So we can just go ahead and click on safe moon. And it's just going to let you know here that it recommends you set your slippage tolerance to 12%. And then it also just lets you know that SafeMoon taxes a 10% fee on each transaction, 5% redistributed to all existing holders, and then 5% for liquidity. You just have to say that you understand that. And then you can go ahead and click on continue. So once you guys are done here, you just want to make sure your slippage tolerance is on 12. And to do that, you just got to click on right beside this little clock emblem right here. And then you just want to make sure it does it on 12. And then your transaction deadline, if you want to change that uh, to longer or shorter, you can as well. But once you guys are done doing that, you can exit out of here. And now all you guys have to do is click on the amount of BNB that you want to transfer over into SafeMoon. So you just go ahead and click on the zeros here and just type in the amount of BNB that you want to transfer over. So let's just say we were going to do 0.2. We can do that. And then it will show us right here in exchange for 0.2 BNB, we will get that much SafeMoon there. Uh, and then all you guys have to do after that is click on continue where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. And then it's just going to ask you to confirm and then it'll just take a couple minutes and you will have SafeMoon in your wallet. Uh, once it is done transaction here, you're just going to back out of here and back into your wallet and your SafeMoon will be in your wallet in about a couple minutes. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with purchasing SafeMoon. If you guys have any questions or need any more help, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to help you guys or make more videos if it's needed. Anyhow, I really hope I helped you guys out. If I did, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.